for chicken to fry you need a you need corn flour a bit of egg pepper powder and salt you marinate it and then you can shallow fry or deep fry it the flour uh, pepper and uh, salt i'll be putting some uh, ginger garlic paste which is for the more flavor and then uh, chili powder a quarter teaspoon that gives additional spiciness and the color for the chicken and then lemon juice then the egg just mix it thoroughly fry the chicken with giving enough space not to not too crowded so that it gives enough space to cook evenly all the chicken is being fried and it's been cooked like 80% it's not fully done then that will be fully cooked in the sauce for chili chicken you need uh, some color pepper that's been diced and spring onions cut into lengthwise like say one to one inch uh, size then some onion flakes chili that is green chili and traditionally they used to make with uh, chili paste so here today i'm using a bit of chili powder and then ch green chili in the same pan where you fried the chicken i like to soft it a little bit pepper and then the onions because i don't want to lose the color when i cook it in the sauce so if i saute it pre cooked and keep it ready and i can put it in the last minute so it's still cooked but it will retain the color then you can take the vegetables it's been half cooked but it's really crunchy the same heat hot pan i did the garlic paste one tablespoon put the green chili add chili powder one tablespoon if you have chili paste fresh chili paste that's good then if you don't have it you can use the chili powder then the ketchup it's a good portion around 100 grams saute it to cook it through for for around 2 minutes at this stage you can put some chili flakes also it gives additional spiciness and more flavor and bit of more too now add the soy sauce because after the soy sauce i'm using light soy it's, there is a lot of salt in it so make sure you check the seasoning before you add any more salt now you can add some hot water that sauce if it's runny also fine because we will be thickening it with corn flour that gives a nice body and nice emulsion this stage you can add a diluted corn flour just enough to get it nice thick and if your whisk is good to use a whisk so it doesn't form any lumps you can see by the waves it's getting thicker to enough consistency thick enough now we'll be adding the chicken now put the chicken give it a boil and then simmer it you can taste it if you need more spiciness or something you can add a pepper powder rather than chili or chili flakes even and then if you need a bit more sour you can put uh, vinegar white vinegar or synthetic vinegar that's best so that doesn't give any of the flavor than like a white wine vinegar chinese cuisine is always balanced with bit of sugar that brings with the flavor and this a light sweetness that brings more taste to the food age i'll be adding the spring onions and the peppers make sure you put all the juice that's a flavor just mix it 
A brilliant chili chicken is ready.